Well, it's so good to be with you this afternoon. Does this guy have an incredible life or what? What do you think? Mr. Richard Ranson, this is an amazing life. I'm a lucky, a, you're a lucky guy. Lucky man. <laughs> Richard was asking me, why is it that this conference attracts so many really successful people when you're already successful? And what I've heard is a common theme here from everyone is that it's because these are successful people. They're high achievers. In fact, you have to be an overachiever to be at this conference. But they're all hungry. We're all still really hungry to not only try to be the best, but be even better than that, but to have impact and make a difference in the world. And so I just want to take a moment to thank Pat Meyer at the World Business Forum, her staff, all the sponsors. Has this been a rocking couple of days at the conference? Should we give them a big round of applause? Well done. Well done. So I just have to be present for a moment. We're, here we are at Radio City Music Hall. On Broadway. I've yeah. always, always wanted to be standing on a stage. Of, uh, <laughs> never done it before. You, you have it. I mean, so. Oh, come on. Come on. You ready? Are we ready? Okay. Right. One, two, one, <laughs> two, three, four. <laughs> We've performed a Radio City musical. We have. <laughs> That will be in my new CV. It's going to have to be put on the new video. <laughs> I, think, I, I think my wife's going to say, let's keep our day jobs. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure about that. So I just have to ask you, we all are so inspired by all that you do. You're, you've accomplished so much. You've achieved so many things. But the, the question is, after all of that, what really continues to drive you? What motivates you? I mean, if there were one word, Richard, that gets you up in the morning, what would that be? It's normally three words. It's enough of that, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's ex that explains why you've given birth to so many great ideas. <laughs> I can't think of many entrepreneurs who've had an impact on so many different industries at the same time. And you've been able to do this at a high performance with many different industries. Most of us here have to specialize. We end up going deep. We try to make that work for customers. How have you been able to perform so well in many industries? And, and how do you actually choose something to invest in? We are, I suppose, an unusual brand in that um, most of the big brands specialize in one, in one area. And so if we can find a brilliant, brilliant people to run it, people who really care about people, uh, give them a lot of freedom to make mistakes as well as to make good things. Don't second guess them all the time. Uh, people like yourself come and brainstorm with us. So thank you for that. When you think about the kind of people that you want to select for this, how, you know, the biggest issue, I think, top three issue for all of us here is people trying to find them, try to motivate them, try to put them in a position where they can be aligned. You know, what are you looking for in a person and, and how, how do you develop those people? Somebody who, who is willing to get out, listen to the staff. I mean, the, the people who are out on the front line. They know, uh, you know, when things are going wrong. Uh, they know when things are going right. Um, to be the best company in any field is getting all the little details right. When you think about the, what is important in terms of people finding their own way as entrepreneurs, this is a real passion for you that you've started centers in, in places where you'd think it'd be incredible to actually start a business. Uh, Jamaica and in Johannesburg and you're doing work in the UK. Could you talk about why, why you believe in entrepreneurship? Why is it important even with all of us who are in, are in corporations as well to think entrepreneurially? We, we have sent up these entrepreneurial um, schools in Jamaica and in um, Johannesburg um, to try to help uh, you know, give people a, a way of um, standing on their uh, own, own two feet. And if I may say, thank you yourself for help, being so helpful in you know, giving a year of your life to um, get, helping us get them going. Um, and what we're looking for uh, uh, is people who you know, genuinely love people, look, look for the best in people, praise people. Could you just give a round of applause to someone that you love, that you feel has made you successful? Could we do that right now? One, two, three, let's give it a... 